What happened there? I thought the sign said no guns. No comment. What's going on out here? Our annual lobby day march. Lobby day, what are you lobbying for if it's not obvious to the people watching here? <laughs> Uh, unconstitutional gun laws they want to pass in Virginia this year. Do you know what, what are they trying to do? Like, what, what specifically are you fighting uh, against? They want to make it illegal for you to carry a firearm on you in a restaurant that serves alcohol. Uh, magazine bans, AR bans, and a couple other laws. Y'all four on that side of the flag in a straight line. Oh no! I'll stretch it out. 346 school shootings in the United States of America last year, 2023. Just this year, 346 school shootings. You know where most of them were? California, but Ohio and Texas. They have some pretty lax gun laws in Texas and Ohio. Isn't that crazy? There's no good guys with guns. Just a lot of school shooters. We don't have gun laws. Hey, uh, we can't have any firearms in the sidewalk right here. So if I can go out on 9th Street, we can't have any firearms. No firearms here, 9th Street. Glenn Youngkin sucks. 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 It's, it's nice. this area and it's this whole block is now a permitted area, Department of General Services. So what we're going to have to do is the only place you can be is down by Main Street. What about that sidewalk here? Nope, all the way down through. So here, down on 12th Street, all this is, is DGS property. It's okay. all permitted areas and stuff like that. So some of the areas, like I said, you can go down to Main Street over there, you can go to the far side of 9th Street over there, and you can be on 8th Street down there, just all, right. all this in the capital district. Sorry, we get a picture real quick. A very quick one, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, he said nice streets, okay? The far side. The, the far side, so the yeah. other side. Correct. Yes. Yeah, but hold on. Y'all get back in your area. So what happened there with the police? Uh, they were just informing us what is allowed, what's not. And we're going to conform to what they ask because they were polite. Freedom. Freedom. If I was in D.C., they'd be trying to kill me right now. Oh, fuck those guys. <laughs> no, I mean guys like you, usually. No, no. Permit or something. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, guys. All right. Stay safe. Appreciate yep, you too. about those dead kids? I bet you support abortion though, don't you? Yeah. You got knocked up and had abortion, weirdo. You never knocked anybody up? 346 school shootings. 
More guns means more dead kids. You just want to disarm is all it's about. Disarm. It's not about laws. Does that mag not jam? Like, can you actually dump that mag without a single jam? <laughs> Uh, hey. Welcome to the small penis rally! Why are you guys not out here in Hawaii and why are you not doing the boogaloo thing this time? So the stigma behind boogaloo, but the attacking federal officers and doing things not in the correct way, uh, we don't feel like we align with that. So. We're more constitutionalists, we have rights. Everybody has rights other than just us. The girl protesting down there, she has a right to do what she's doing. In the past, Code has a right to do what he's done in the past, but we're, we're here to stand for anybody that wants to have their voices heard, and the only way we can do that is to have our Second Amendment, so. Is it just a rebrand, or do you feel like uh, your kind of mission or like the purpose has changed well, what you're doing? Our main purpose now is to train and have a, a group of guys that if things go south for our country, we will be able to hopefully survive. It'll be a hard hill to fight, but we'll, hopefully we'll survive whatever may come. Are they good for you? <laughs> I'm on a diet. <laughs> mm. What is CVTP? Uh, it's uh, like an amalgamation of groups down in Central Virginia. Like an alliance or coalition? It's like a mutual aid group. It's, for example, we get flooded up pretty bad down there. We get bad freezes. It's just groups that help us out. Fair enough. Yeah, we're holding, we're, we're holding a food drive down here uh, for Feed More Richmond. It used to be Central Virginia Food Bank, so non-perishable food items can be donated through today noon. If anyone wants to bring anything like that by. It's a God-given right to uh, defend ourselves. Uh, it doesn't come from the government. Everyone talks about the Constitution and the Second Amendment. Obviously, you can see nobody cares. We used to be able to have guns up there on the lawn. That's not the case anymore. We used to be able to have guns on that sidewalk. That's not the case anymore. So it's an encroachment. It's death by a thousand paper cuts. Uh, and then you have... Uh, Dementia patients in the White House, uh, in Philadelphia, like Fetterman, you got people who can't even uh, do talks. You got a lot of insane people that uh, will forget what this country was founded on and what wanted was with guns. So it's good to come out here uh, to exercise that, our God-given right to defend ourselves, because uh, that's a uh, Virginia way of life. That's our motto, Six Semper Tyrannis. Uh, it took guns to win our freedoms, it'll take guns to secure them and secure them again. Do you have any uh, feelings about the year ahead? The what now? The year ahead. Oh, the year ahead? Uh, yeah, I've got, uh, for me personally, uh, politics just sucks. It just gets worse and worse every year. Uh, there's good uh, things to come in, silver linings. Uh, for me personally, I've got uh, my daughter out here. It's her first uh, gun rally. I uh, got her a toy gun. So in 2024, uh, I'm going to be raising a, a gun-loving lunatic with me. So. <laughs> <laughs> and every year as we come here, you'll see her getting taller and taller, and uh, I'll have many more kids to come out here, and I think that's the uh, the long-term kind of success of this. I, I know you got her a toy gun. How, what year do you think you're going to give her a, a firearm to bring to this event? You know, I've seen this YouTube video of a little girl who's running through the course, dropping clips. I think she's maybe five years old, so... As soon as you can do it comfortably and with some good training, uh, the earlier the better, I say. That, uh, Her assault musket will probably come in when she's 10 or something. I take it you two have uh, differing opinions on this subject. A little bit. We do. I think... Well, we can get along. Yeah, we can get along. You can agree to disagree. Yeah. That's what, that's what America is about, right? So... We have to be able to yep. talk. Yeah, yeah, anyway. All right, well, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for the cookie. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Don't get... Is there a line? Like, is there a line that just can't be crossed? <laughs> like, at which Oh, yeah, you start like, taking my no guns. You take my guns. If, if, if SB2 and HB2, or whatever you want to call it, the assault weapons ban happens and the militia law that's going through, uh, I don't remember the specifics, but I'm sure you could look it up. I'm sure someone will look it up. You're talking about the federal law. The federal law. Um, oh, yeah. That will be a flashback. Actually, that I totally forgot about that. But, like, what, is, what are your feelings about the, um, does that scare you? The oh, 100%, yeah. And it's not, does it scare me because oh, they'll come after me. I mean, you can come after me Bubba and I, you know you've seen the boogaloo memes you know what I mean I'm not going down quietly you know I've done nothing wrong um, 
the but what scares me is is that these are steps to do something bigger. Once you take away the guns of the American people, then what? You know what I mean? You if, know, we can't a, defend ourselves anymore. If a law like that, like the militia law, actually passed, like, do you think it would affect what you guys do, or would you just do it and just hope they never come, or like, what? what would uh, even, if they what would, come, would it affect you? If like, like the old saying goes, if they come, let them come in my time, so my children don't have to deal with it. Um, you know, I'm not saying that because I'm invincible. I'm saying that because that is what it is. Um, I'm saying that because that is what it is. Um, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing because this is what America is. Um, so no, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. I am going to continue on. If they come for me, they come for me. Um, however, comma, if that passes, they can expect to have a lot of... Uh, trying to say this as, as vanilla as possible, uh, force on force issues, you know what I mean? Why do you think they're even doing it? There has to be something, man. I've sat and racked my brain, you know, because I'm not like super conspiracy minded. Yeah, I have some and everybody has some, but I've tried to understand what is the end goal of this? Because if you take away my guns, like for instance, let's look at the one that's about going to a restaurant, right? And where they sell alcohol. Every every this is a state uh, uh, this, state yeah. laws. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that you shouldn't be going into somewhere and drinking alcohol and doing all that mess while you have a gun. Everybody knows that, okay? Like you should if you're gonna drink, you shouldn't have your gun on, okay? However, no at all, not a single um, not a single criminal is gonna abide by that. You know what I mean? And anyone with half a brain understands that. Criminals aren't going to abide by the laws that they pass. You know what I mean? So I'm be, I'll follow if I follow the law. I'm sitting in there eating my steak or whatever. You know, I like steak. You know, <laughs> I'm sitting there eating my food or whatever it is I choose to gorge myself with. And all of a sudden, a madman comes in who did not pay attention to that law, who didn't surrender his firearms, who didn't register his firearms because he's a criminal and that's what he does. He comes in there and he starts shooting people up. I can't even defend myself. I can't even even if I lost the gunfight. You know what I mean? I'm not the fucking, I'm not Wyatt Earp here. You know what I mean? Even if I lost the gunfight, I don't even have a chance to help myself if they pass it. So what is the real end goal here? A lot of it is very mean-spirited. Like, they say it's not about our gun rights. Or it's not about, it's not about law-abiding gun owners. Then why does all of these laws come after law-abiding gun owners harder than it does the criminals? It would make you not be law-abiding. Yeah, <laughs> like no, you're going to make them. me into a criminal. Um... Do you think that, like, like the people passing this stuff, do you think they think of you guys as criminals? Oh, like, 100%. They don't like me. I don't know why they don't like me. Probably because they've never talked to me. Mm. But, uh, yeah, they don't like us. <laughs> what, what do you think? If, if you could actually get them to, like, sit down and have that have that steak with you, like, what do you think you could, uh, what, mi what misconceptions are there about you guys? Well, it's just like Anarchy Princess. I told her to come stand over here. You know what I mean? Yeah. She said, oh, well, people in D.C. threatened to kill me. I said, well, fuck those guys. You're an American and you have the right to protest too, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So stand right here, and, um, you know what I mean? Like I said, to answer your question, people think that the biggest thing is that we're racist. We're far from that. Obviously, we got diversity here, a lot of diversity. And I think that's something that we kind of push the most is diversity, change the narrative. Mm -hmm. So I tell people like, where we get together, we train, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. We stand up for we stand for the ones that can't stand up for themselves. We speak for the ones that don't want to speak or can't speak or don't know what to say. That's where we come in. Mm -hmm. Hey, you alone? Come stand with us. You want to know what you want? Do you want to know what we're about? Just ask us. Well, why do you think that perception happens? You just mentioned that like they they describe you guys as racist or something like that. Like why? why Social do you think media, do that? rather what they see on TV, what other people may have said. Because there are and no one racist, ever nobody asks us a question. There are mm. racist militia groups in the world, it is. and not, they're, they're the they're only not, ones that get attention. The real militia, the real America here, doesn't get attention. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm a very weird looking white supremacist standing next year to my brother right here. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> It, yeah, it, it's I something like, to, it. <laughs> like, come on, like that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> it, 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 it don't fly, and I guarantee you, it, it, it wouldn't fly with us like at all. Because we have a zero tolerance in our group for that. Absolute yeah. zero tolerance. You show it, you're out. Right. Any extremist activity, you're out. You sexism, yeah. anything that, that that doesn't align with our goals, you're out. You see, we do not. You can walk down the line and look at every one of us that considers ourselves a Virginia Cocoa. All right. Do you see any rebel flags on our patches? Or on our, on our carriers? No. 
And that's not because they're inherently racist symbols, but a lot of people can use them that way. And we understand that that may make people uncomfortable. So guess what? That's in our SOP. You're not wearing that. I'm sorry. We'll be here next year, too. Somebody is a member. Protect it in that Uber. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Different people with stigmatisms. That thing right there can't beat it. <coughs> Primary arms micro prism. That thing is like, the optic in it is so crisp that it's just like, you know, usually like a red dot, like it's like that stigmatism splur. This is like so crisp that it's not even funny. And it's etched. So if you lose battery, uh, it won't be lit up, but you'll still see the black outline. What's that all about? Um, well, basically the ATF's fucking gay. <laughs> Not the good kind. <laughs> 